Good morning. Hello there. How are you doing this fine, miserable morning? Ah, deep. Yes, there is dogs running around my living room. Trying to hump one another, so this is going to be fun. <laughs> Welcome back to my life. Welcome to my life. This is my life. Soon as it is fucking tornado weather outside, pretty much. It's too miserable to go anywhere with the doggies. Today we're gonna do something different. For those of you who may not know or have stumbled upon my lovely channel by accident, welcome. Please stay. Don't leave me. I am in fact a qualified dog hairdresser, hairstylist, dog groomer, whichever way you want to put it. So I have some qualified opinions, I guess. <laughs> Been grooming dogs for something like 10 years. A long time. There's a really cute channel on YouTube. She does the cutest motherfucking videos you've ever seen. And I thought it might be fun to react because that's, that's, that's the thing to do on YouTube. <laughs> We react to shit. I shall show you the wonders of dog grooming. Much like hairdressing for humans, in dog style, there is trends. And one of the trends is called Asian fusion. They take a dog and they make it look like a teddy bear, really, basically. So without further ado, let's watch some cute motherfucking dogs getting groomed into teddy bears. So the channel I'm gonna react to is called Shoe and Tree. So we have a motherfucking cute fluffy bastard. <laughs> I don't know where this lady gets all these cute dogs from. So she's just shaving the dog. Obviously. Don't have a fucking clue where this lady gets her cute dogs from. I mean, all dogs are cute, but this lady seems to like only have like the cutest, cutest of cute dogs. It's like, you ain't coming to my salon, bitch, unless your dog is a fucking supermodel. Don't ask me, but they are fucking adorable. It looks like a poodle, but I couldn't, couldn't be sure. It does look like a poodle. Because all the... <laughs> It's quite a big dog, look at it in the bath. So this is where we bath dogs. And also, another thing to say is, dogs, they never behave like this good. Just so you know, everyone's like, oh, I wanna be a dog grammar. It looks like the best thing in the world. Out of all the dogs I've groomed in my long career of grooming dogs, they never rarely stand here like angels. Most of them are like, you're trying to kill me. I'm going to die. Ooh, this bitch has a spa. The dog's like, ooh, I'm coming back here. We're getting the spa treatment. I don't, I don't offer spa facilities. I'm not bougie enough. I do give them a massage though. They get that for free with me. Yeah, again, dogs, they don't act this chill. Just so don't you be fooled. Most of them are trying to murder you. Ooh! Boom, she blow dried it. I thought we were gonna see a blow dry. Apparently we're not getting to see a blow dry. So she will have took actually ages to fluff dry. You didn't really click on this for me to give you grooming fucking tips. Just so you know, you don't just get a dog out of the bath and go poof, it's blow dried. It takes ages and you have to fluff the shit out of that fluff. <laughs> so she fluffed up the fluff and here we are. Post bath, ready and fluffed. So we're uh, <clears throat> shaving that butthole. Dude, look at that fucking cute little feet. She's got some nice round scissors, doing them round feeties. The scissor satisfaction. That is a cute dog, look at its face. Again, dogs don't stand like this. Nine times out of 10, they will dance around the table. Crocodile chop your face with their teethies. Generally don't stand like motherfucking angels. Maybe she's just magic and she has the uh, capabilities to whisper a dog into standing like an angel. We getting their feet nice and round, B. This bit always scares people, right? She's doing the face and it looks like you're about to like 
murder the dog or poke its eyes out. Trust me, when you're first trying to learn how to groom a dog, you ain't so fly. You ain't like, oh yeah, I just got chop, 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 chop around the face, like karate chops around the face. You're like, oh my God, I'm gonna like poke his fucking eyes out. Well, this lady's obviously been doing it for a while, so she's confident enough to trim. Don't try this at home, bitch. Don't watch this and be getting any ideas. Like, oh, that looks easy, I can just... Cause you, you take an eye out and I don't want you taking anyone's fucking eyes out. Getting rid of all the hair around the eyes. Boofing up the floof. <laughs> Boofing that floof. Oh, look at it already. See how the shape looks so severe. You look like a little mountain man. Don't know what that means. She's getting the head nice and round. It's so satisfying to watch someone else trim a dog's hair, I can't lie. Ooh, it's taking shape now. Look, starting to look like a teddy bear. Excuse me, ma'am. That is no longer a dog, that is a bear. A teddy bear. A teddy bear dog. Oh, look at them big eyes. Don't worry, she ain't cutting his fucking ears off. <laughs> Sometimes people get really freaked out. I was like, <coughs> again, like it takes practice. And this lady is like, <coughs> she a better groomer than me. So yeah, look already, we don't even have the same dog. She's made it look like a walking, talking teddy bear. Oh, look at that, they look like a panda. Hello, I'm no longer a dog. I am in fact a panda bear. Look at that. Basically the end result is for them to look exaggerated and not, not even real. <laughs> Let's pick one more. This one's called, Is It The Same Puppy? So, we've got a really cute looking motherfucker <laughs> from the from the cute place, the cute dog factory where they get all the cute dogs. Oh, well, that looks like what they call a brewery, which is like a Yorkie, but a different colored Yorkie. Looks scared. This one looks scared. See, this is more like what dogs are like when they come. They're like, oh, she going to murder me. Looks a bit nervous. Oh, I want to keep it. I want to keep the dog. Yes, Gordo, I want to keep the dog. See, nervous puppy. We're gonna make this puppy feel better. We're gonna make him feel like a champion. I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. I can't see it's um, <clears throat> private. See, this is a lot more like what dogs are like in the grooming style. I know you look trustworthy. I know you got a nice face. But you are certainly going to murder me. It is definite. I'm about to be drunned. Goodbye, my life. Goodbye to my mother. The drowning is happening. Oh, we soaping up the little fluff. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I always feel so mean when you pick up a dog and they're like, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. When you put a dog near water, there's not even any water underneath and the dog's like, no, I must swim for my life or else drowning shall occur. <laughs> oh, it's a slow-mo, it's slow-mo. <laughs> now we're having our spa, darling. Oh, we're massaging the floof. I love it when you go to the hairdressers as a human <laughs> and they massage your head. In fact, that's the only thing that's similar. When you go to a hairdresser's, they massage your scalp. Some people get annoyed about the price of grooming dogs. That it's like, I don't remember the last time I went to the hairdressers and they shaved my um, bum hole, my lady floof, my <laughs> armpits, gave me a full on bath, a blow dry, washed my entire body, scrubbed my bum, scrubbed everywhere, blow dried me, trimmed me and um, trimmed my nails. That would be weird, number one. <laughs> going to the hairdressers, hello. I'm here to be 
bathed and scrubbed and have my bum hole shaved. We do do that to dogs. And they're surprisingly chill about it. Oh, look at that flowing coat. That is, oh, that is a cute dog, man. I really want one of these, but I want one of everyone. Oh. I think this might be this dog's first groom. So here comes the transformation. We're shaving its body, keeping the legs long because it looks cool as fuck. This woman is such a good groomer. This girl, lady, person is such a good groomer. She's rounding off them legs to make it look like we got some flares going on. Saturday Night Fever, the dog's going to be walking down the street going do -ne -do, do -ne -do -ne -do. Oh, I love Asian Fusion, it's the cutest grooming style ever. If I could do every dog like this, I would, but funnily enough, in the UK at least, people are not so adventurous with their styles. Look, he's falling asleep. I don't know if it's a boy or a girl, it's still shaking a little. Oh. Oh, we doing some hair clip. <laughs> we do that. We do do that. If you take your dog to the dog river, be aware that they will flop your dog's ears around. Enjoy how funny they can look. And like in the bath, we sometimes make hair shampoo, Mohicans. We do, we do this. We flop the ears around a bit. We floof and boof the floof. Oh. The dog's like, what am I doing? I don't want to be on the table. So this is one of the main bits of this kind of grooming is doing the nose in that cute, cute Jane. She's, the dog's behaving really well. Normally, especially these kind of breeds, they're like, try to eat your arm when you do shit like this. So again, she gets it, these dogs from the factory of cute, well-behaved schmooks. I would like some from myself, from the factory of well-behaved schmoogle. She's getting this the, the nose hair really round so it sticks out. Oh, it already looks so cute though. And again, because it's all about extremes, we're taking the ears shorter so that the nose stands out. Oh, the puppy fall it just slip no. Look at that! Cause of death, fucking cuteness. He look like a little mini lion. Hello, Pixie Woo. Do you want to look like a lion too? Look like a baby lion. Oh, shake that hair. Oh, now that, mu that we call it the muzzle, the nose. That is so cute. And look at them flowy legs. 70s, 70s fever, baby. 70s gloriousness. Now he ready for his Saturday Night Fever debut. Mm -hmm. Oh, now his owner comes to get him. His owner is probably ecstatic, because I would be. That is so fucking cute. Doesn't even look like the same. <laughs> oh, I don't know about you, but that cured all my illnesses, my diseases. I hope you enjoyed watching some motherfucking cute dogs get made even cuter by the lady who cutifies dogs. She's a really amazing dog groomer and I will link her channel in my description. Come back for more, subscribe, goodbye. <laughs>